ladies and dudes, before we could see Pokemon Sword and Shield for the later on future of the Pokemon series, there is one thing that we got to solve. A very big problem that we have for over 20 something years ago. And we got to break this evil curse once and for all. Well, anyway, hi, ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Bubopne T7. This is my review for a day. And today, I have no review, ladies and dudes. But once again, it's time for another quick edition of Boobop 1987's most quick videos. And what's today's most quick video of the day? Well, to tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, yes, I will admit I did see the brand new video for the brand new video game of Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's gonna take place in London, England. Ooh, yay! We're finally going to see the city of Big Ben for the very first time in the Pokemon franchise! Yay! I'm sure that Benjamin Williams would love to go there so he could meet the other London, England that featured his favorite clock in the whole world. Yay! I'm sure everybody's looking forward to play that video game and also looking forward for these three starter, I mean, <clears throat> sorry, three starter Pokemon. Oh yes, the new Pokemon look pretty darn cute and they were so darn interesting. It cute, including with that cute little fiery buddy Pokemon named Score Buddy. I hope I got that name right. Score Buddy. Oh, that Score Buddy is so darn cute and interesting. And see the little fires on its feet. Oh. I would love it to have for my starter Pokemon. Oh, it's so darn cute and adorable. And the rest looks pretty darn cute as well. The other one is a lizard, and the last one is a cute little monkey. Yeah, it looks pretty darn interesting, and I'm sure everybody will be looking forward to the brand new Pokemon that's coming by to that new region. And also for the brand new Pokemon series as well. Well, I know we're all excited to see this brand new anime series that's coming really, really soon. So around the near end of 2019. <sighs> but still, we got a freaking problem, ladies and dudes. And we gotta find a way to make this problem solved. And we gotta send a message to the Pokemon company that there is one evil curse that needs to be broken. And I'm sick and tired to see this main character in that stupid age over and over and over and over again. Yes, you know what I'm talking about, right ladies and dudes? It's all about Ash being a stupid 10 year old. And I'm sick and tired of seeing this main character being a 10 year old for, for over 20 something years ago. And it needs to stop right here, right now. I don't care what this, uh, this, this false rumor the evolves, you know, the Ash made a stupid wish that he wants to be immortal or something while he's a freaking 10 year old. That was the most stupidest wish that he ever made. But I can understand the happiness part. You can leave the happiness alone thing. Yeah, I don't care about that stupid rumor that we had like over 20 something years ago that Ash made a stupid wish about 
him be a ten year old for all eternity. That was just that was just stupid. We have to find a way to break that evil curse. Once and for all. After all, we gotta pay attention to the later on Pokemon story. You know, how many years had passed and we need to know how much our characters had grown up and see which one of them had finally been matured after so many years and so on and so forth. Yeah, I think we need to focus on the later on storyline and also try to find a way to make up a good Pokemon series plot about how many years had passed and see all of our characters grown up. I just want to see a full grown Ash. Uh, you know, I want to get to know how old he is, see how tall he is, and, um... Uh, I want to see him as a young man in his 20s. And what the heck will Pikachu will, e will ever evolve into a Raichu? It says Pikachu is truly the most immature Pokemon that Ash ever had in the Pokemon journey. If you know what I mean. And we already know that Ash has so many flaws. A whole lot of flaws to be found. Well, I did make up a top five list of the top ten most important things what Ash did wrong, but I haven't done that type of list yet. Maybe one day I will tell you about my top five most important things of what Ash did wrong. Whenever I can get there. So yes, ladies and dudes, we got a big, giant problem. If we, if we want to continue on the Pokemon series and, you know, Ash going on a brand new region. We gotta find a way to break this evil curse that the Pokemon company had made. And it's time for all of us to tell them we are sick and tired of seeing Ash as a stupid 10 year old. This 10 year old thing needs to stop right here, right now. And let's make a good time skip story where we can see Ash all grown up as a young man whenever he goes to a new region and just let Ash win something for the Pokemon League for goodness sakes. We gotta find a way to end his arc. And also, let's start with the new 10 year old kid for the next region. If you know what I mean. So, like I said, we got a big problem here. And we gotta take care of this problem once and for all. You got that? Good. And that's my whole entire quick video of the day. And tell me, ladies and dudes, this is the most important question of all. Yeah, it's very darn important. Are you sick and tired of seeing Ash as a 10 year old for the last 20 something years ago? This very big giant plot hole that we will never forget in Pokemon history. Well, whatever your opinions are, just leave a comment there and let me know. And also, are you looking forward to play this game called Pokemon Sword and Shield? Well, I never played that type of video game, to tell you the truth. I never played any of those Pokemon video games, sadly to say. But all I care about is what kind of, po what kind of Pokemon we're finally going to get from every single region. And see which one of them will evolve. If you know what I mean. So yep, that's my whole entire quick video of the day. And join me next time for more quick videos to come in the later on future. So yep, that is it for now. 
I'll see you guys later, and sayonara.